Welcome to Comment Cocktails, I am your host Eric Shaw and I have with me Ian Andrews and we're going to be doing a tasting. This is kind of like random, randomly, we just came up with this. It's something that I tasted last week and I'm like, oh, have we tasted this? And he's like, no, we haven't done a tasting, so, so like, we're we doing, should do a tasting. We've we're done doing the a tasting. whole episode, all of our episodes and we're like, let's just do one more tasting. We're so far ahead of schedule right now, it's ridiculous. So we figured, why not fall off schedule and do a tasting? I'm not falling off anything. No, I'm not falling off anything. So this is Root, it's from... Art of the Art in the Age. Art in the Age. You, we can get it in New local, Hampshire. Right? Six hundred three rep. Um, it, is it from Maine? Mm, I don't remember where they're from. I think they're, they're around here. This was uh, somebody Curtis knows. I think. Yeah. Is, is yeah, he was saying. Modern that. Spirits, uh, Los Angeles, not around here. Okay, never mind. Um, but they do sell oh, it. it. Smells oh, like a root beer. That would girl. be Eric oh. and his. Be oh, that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lick for show. I do it for real, man. E Eric went to AustinJays.com slash Matt and purchased two bar mats. So oh, nice, Eric. That would probably be his order. It, it's funny that like you started talking about the mat that you wanted to do like a week ago, pretty I much. Did. Yeah. And, and you said you had to sell so many bar mats to be able to make the mold and to be able to fund the fund 37 mats. so far left, I think, out of the 50. And you've, you've got 37 sold? Yeah, but I, no, I have 37 left to sell. Okay. Out of the no, 50. I thought you said you had 37 sold. No, no. I have 37 uh -huh. out of 50. Okay, so left. Now you got 35 out of 50. Yeah. Oh, I've been telling everybody that you have 37 out of 50 because yeah. I thought that's what you said. Okay. I have 37 left to sell. My, my uh, whole buy my mats diatribe there is off because I thought you were so much yeah. further ahead than you were. So no, I have 37. Ian understood you way differently Can we than edit what you that intended. Out? No. <laughs> uh, if it sells more mats, no. Can I put this in my face? Yes. Again. From Los Angeles, this is uh, this company. I bought this myself, so sometimes I like to say when we get it for mm. free, just so people know. Yeah. Like it's on one of those transparency things. That is an things. alcoholic root beer barrel. <laughs> that is not weak. No. What do we got? Um, here? Certified got? organic neutral. Forty percent alcohol. With North American herbs and pure cane sugars. Uh, Eighty proof, forty percent alcohol. So this is as as hot as whiskey. As a whiskey or a vodka and you can or tell a by gin. The the thinness of the legs, when you yep. swirl it, you can see the legs coming down and they're not and thick you, and syrupy. And you know it's good when the back of the bottle has a bunch of scribbles of items on it that they put in here. Um, but, oh look, anise, allspice, cardamom, cinnamon, spearmint, lemon, smoked black tea, yep. what? Uh, wintergreen, clove, where's number nine? Nine, number uh, nine. nine, nine. Uh, orange, nutmeg, sugar cane, and birch bark. Oh. All can be found on the bottle. That's cool. Artist rendition. Here, have some of that. It's pretty tasty, man. It smells like, you know what it smells like? Certified, certified organic neutral spirits. That's where he zoned out, I just said that. Um, yeah. This smells like the concentrated root beer. You ever have that? Yeah, it smells like a root I, beer I've never barrel. drank it, but you know, like the, the little bottle of concentrated root when beer. When you're gonna make like your own root beer at yeah. home? Yeah. yeah. My mom used to make her own bottle of root beer back in the day, yeah. My dad didn't bottle his own, you make it sound like a production. My father just did it because we had it. He was well. He used to have we, we would brew beer. My dad had all those Kolsch bottles with the you yeah. know the metal with the ceramic yeah, yeah. and the oh, yeah, they, they yeah. pop. And that's pop how off. they that's how they made the root beer. And slide them. Um, but my father used to bottle beer before he had his own whole like keg system. And every now and then we would just make root beer with the clean ones. What? Dan, Dan says, "Oh, Irish made is so good to me." Is <laughs> that drink? Mm. So, so for Super Bowl Sunday, I brought over uh, some stuff to make this drink called the Irish made. Doing? that I found on Liquor.com, which was uh, presented by uh, Jack McGarry of Dead Rabbit's Bar. Uh, Dead yeah. Rabbit Bar, which we saw, we we saw, saw him at a seminar on Tales of the Cocktail. And, um, it's really Keep cool. telling people to go there, because I want to. I want to go to the Dead Rabbit next time. I'm we going. need to go to New York and just do a bar run and really like should. Instagram all the bars that we go to. That would be great. It'll probably take multiple days so that we can get home. Booker and Dax. Yeah. You know what that's named after, right? Yeah, uh, his kids. Yeah. Yeah. You, you've read the preview. Yeah. You <laughs> get <laughs> a lot. A whole episode. Every episode this week, there's been knowledge dropped by Ian. From I a absorb preview. things sometimes. Yeah, I'm interested in them. Um, I'm trying to absorb the entity framework right now, but I don't know if I want to. So the what? Gonna, the entity framework, Microsoft's ORM. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't okay. know if I'm wanting to, but I'm trying to. This is. As long it's as you really consider ruby. it as, as, as a vodka, as a high proof spirit, yeah. you can throw that on ice and drink it like an alcohol root beer. Absolutely. Um, Speaking of ice, you think one would fit in here? No, but if I break it in half, where's our... That's so close. What happened to my muddler, by the way? He's gonna. He's gonna. 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it works. I don't know how much this stuff costs, but let's just pour some out for our homies. Oh! It's like Lino. I feel like yeah. Lino. Lino? <laughs> Lino. Thundercats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. You gotta make sure I push it so I can't cheat and let oh, it fly out. That last one went down my underwear. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no reuse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's down your underwear. Don't reuse it. No. So. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's like. Don't use. It's really down there. No, you're not putting it right in my underwear. What are you, gay? Uh, I just figured I'd say that so that so we just get that out of the way. We're not. Right. If I this, question We get it, so many comments asking for gay. Geez. We've just known each other for a very long time. Oh, that's so, not even in my underwear. It's in my pants. <laughs> it's been oh, almost yeah. 20 years, hasn't it? Probably way too much. Wow, yeah. Because really 96? I, I met you guys freshman year, and I graduated high school in 96. So it was the fall of 96. Then we need to play some Dungeons wow. & Dragons. Ooh, here Anyways. we do. You that thickens it up a little bit when it cools it down like that. And it still smells like root beer. You can't really lose that aroma by adding ice. No. I don't think you mm. can. It does have an impression of thickness. Doesn't it? When it cools off? You could sit down and watch TV with this. Oh, you get hurt. Carefully. Watch TV carefully with this. You would be in some serious trouble. Yeah. It's good to hold. The water's going to accent it a little bit. It's dissolved, so that's good. Ah. Uh, you don't get a lot of alcohol, but it's, it's thickly sweet. Now it's like a melted root beer barrel. A little hot on the back end, like a, a spiciness. Mm. Like a ginger, but not ginger. Yeah. I don't know what that what is. is. That? It's one of those things. It's one of those, do you um, think? Cardamom? Maybe. I don't know. Star anise? When you blow, I don't get a lot of, an, I don't get a lot of anise out of this. My mm. anise is winter light. Winter green? I'm getting the winter green. Uh, my anise is bleached in this Or spearmint. One. Bleached anise. <laughs> as long as it ain't tattooed, buddy. Right. Ouch. Oh, no, that's a cool <laughs> um, yeah, I, like I would say that is going to be better to pair with a cocktail than a root beer schnapps, which mm. is boring. This is a, a very quality taste. I mean, you yeah. get a lot of complexity out of this. You yes. Get, you get... I mean, flavor. You get flavor. We use this in, yeah. like, well, I think we have one cocktail right now, mm. um, Art of the Age Root. You can search for it. You definitely want to type... I think you want to put art in the age root. Otherwise, if you search for root, everything that has root beer is going to come back. Art I thought we do a age. lot of root beer drinks. We don't right. have it's not that common. Yeah. So, which is good because root beer is one of those things that you can't put into it's a. It's one cocktail. of those things you drink by itself. Yeah. Root beer is the recipe. Root beer is the recipe. You carbonate this up, you got root beer. Yeah. That will probably knock you out. Yes. Not a whole glass of steak. So. All right. That's it. Yeah. I'm we glad, did it. Glad we tasted that. I oh, am. Yeah, my underwear is wet. There's a reason for that. <laughs> no, no, don't sit on your under. Hey, if you want to read a good book, Ian should read this. After you're done Liquid Intelligence, you should read the Bret Hart book. I'm not, I'm not like, maybe. I don't know. I want to read, I'd read the I have no idea books. what you're so upset about. The Mankind okay. one was good. Yeah, that's I read that good. one. If you Actually, haven't read, there, there what's was it called? Life of something or other? Life of Brian. Have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice day. The Bret, you, why would you read that book over Bret Hart? Bret Hart is like I don't know Bret Hart. I know Mankind. Seriously, you don't know Bret Hart? Oh, I know. Uh, when did you start watching wrestling? When I did? I started reading this preview. When I used to, what is it? Adam Proof Rocky. the Science of Booze. Oh, what's In that? which it talks about Booker Proof and Dax and Dave Booze. Arnold. Oh, really? So in the intro. Yeah. I'm going to have to look at that one now. Thanks. You're welcome. Asshole. Um, Hitman, my real life in the cartoon world of wrestling. Hitman, my real life in the cartoon, cartoon world of wrestling. You don't need to know who Hitman is. If you read the book, uh, it is a great demonstration of 1980s wrestling. All right. Like from a, from a, how the struggle of a guy from nothing to something, to nothing, to something, and then a whole bunch of people dying. I appreciate Good wrestling. Book. I don't think I was into it as much as you are. How much do you like wrestling? <laughs> I watched it in college because it was like a man's soap opera and it was your TV. And it was, <laughs> I was gonna say, and I was watching it. <laughs> but I got into Jay it. Jay Lotto on wrestling. Because we were watching it all the time, I got into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's kind of, it's it's that way. It's yeah. one of those things. It's like when you watch a soap <laughs> opera and you're like, why would you ever watch this? And then somebody's like, all my children's on. I'm like, all right, I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> One of those stupid things, but it happens. It is it, a little bit dramatic. So, question: Do you did you ever watch the WWE slash WWF of my time, or the WCW, or or any other wrestling federation? Oh, I can break. I this. didn't like WCW. And well, I never really followed. What I year did like you them. stop watching it? Mine. I am a WWE. You don't <laughs> watch wrestling, do you? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't either. It hasn't stopped. For, oh, you don't? No, I haven't watched wrestling since No, I haven't watched wrestling in a long time. Oh, since, oh. 2000, since you graduated college. Since you graduated college. <laughs> I now we am, watched it a little bit after that. I am a WWF Attitude Error <laughs> child. I'm, yeah, I'm, you are. I'm from the Attitude Error. Now, I am, I, we're starting, we, we're Degeneration it now. 
my son's been watching all the WrestleMania, so Can't I'm getting him up to speed. Easy there, Royal Mac. Wrestling is for <laughs> I'm surprised it lets him say that without getting banned. I don't know, right? I, fags is one of the words I thought I put on my ban list because... But that means, like, cigarettes in Britain, so... I don't care! Nobody's gonna ever come to our show and, and tell us we, we look like a cigarette from Britain. <laughs> this is true, right? <laughs> so that would be something I would expect to see, but it probably goes into the auto-ban filter. Um, that's it. Some people like friends, other people like video games, and there's wrestling. I like, uh, UFC Go. Fight Night. Now, I say go out and get Art of the Age Root, but before you do, find a recipe either from us or online, Yeah. or you can drink it straight. That but you think you're going to like. You're going to yeah. think you're going to like, because this is one of those products that you're not going to use every day in all of your cocktails. No. You're going to have to pick specific cocktails to play with Root. Yeah. So go play with your Root! You can get these at AustinDrinks.com. They're called the Glen Carn Glass. Uh, EverydayDrinks.com. I don't know what he's about to do, so I'm just, he's going to hit my daughter. I'm playing with my Root. Oh, you're just playing with your... Okay, we're done. We're teaching you, right there, how to drink. Why would you be hugging me? I'm a nice guy. I like to hug. <laughs> just, I'm just a nice guy. Sounds like the first thing that some some stalker would say. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hugging, not pinching nipples. <laughs> Yet. <Yeah. laughs> go. Ready? Yep. All right, up. Let's do this. <laughs> we're, Why? we're having a brotastic <laughs> review. <laughs> All I need is people going, are you guys gay? They are, they do that anyway. <laughs> There'll matter. be more. Is Edelman gay because he told Tom Brady he loved him after the Super Bowl? Yes. You know what? No. Go ahead, drink that. I'm not going to taint your your outlook. We were just talking about uh, black holes, black anuses, and then you said taint. <laughs>